Hello everybody, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Let's continue to look around this fucking place! Here <laughs> so we are getting up. loaded with Satan. Ew. You know, for someone who's supposedly so rich and popular and shit, she sure does dress like, um... Like she has no style. You know what she reminds me of? She dresses like that one chick from the office. I don't remember her name right now. Oh my god. You guys gonna know what I'm talking about. The one that's obsessed with cats. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally Damn. high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. She does look bad. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. How expensive can socks get? I mean, what can they be made out of to be so pricey? <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Oh my god, this rug is so beautiful. Okay, let me get out of here. I don't know why, but I'm, I am such a freaking weakling for design. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. Is that my room? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm right across the hall from the devil. Good to know. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Oh, you don't look so good. Dana, you okay? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Um, she was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Why was she on the roof? Um... Should I say, why was she on the roof where Kate was serious? That's okay with serious. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? He got expelled? I thought he got freaking suspended. Oh my god. Oh man, that right there can bring me to an orgasm. <laughs> That's not something you want to hear. Uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about what I just said. What the fuck kind of lies am I closing Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey, Dana. I've been thinking about you all day. And know how hard it's been for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max scooped like a hero, like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate. And I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me. For me? Oh, when everything was so fucked up. And I am here for you always. What I find interesting is that no one found it weird that Max was in the classroom and in the crowd and then miraculously got up there without anybody seeing her run up the steps. If Dana anyway. talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper and I want to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? You're well. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. We've seen it too many times. I'm gonna go now, Dana. Please don't. Ooh. Oh. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Okay, I thought there was actual shit. Like, I thought there was actual shit in there that I wanted to see. Juliet waiting for you, Kate. Hmm. What does that say? No money, no hockey. 
No money, no money. Don't. I don't know what that says. Um. What else we got here? Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Okay. Stella! <gasps> Praying for the fast recovery, Kate. Hmm. For a fast recovery. Well. Alright, we can finally leave. Now that we've invested literally all of our time into looking at everything. And I probably missed a bunch of photo opportunities too. Oh well. Ew. Like so Chloe is waiting things. for me in front of the main hall. But first, jeez, I pushed one button. Okay, there we go. First, let me just make sure I have no idea where to find any of the shit. Okay, so there's a scroll over there fucking with the lightning bug. This right here! Shit! Hang on a minute. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I think that's the sculpture. Oh my god. Well, it's too late. Um... I don't want to sit right now. It's kind of a waste of time. Oh, oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Sound bright like a wait. Squirrel. Come on. How was I supposed to take a picture of it? It's gone now. Wait. Nope, it's gone now. Can I go over there? Oh, I can. Sort of. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what the hell I had to do. Uh, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Okay, okay. Come on, little squirrel. I want that photo. I think I had to go around the squirrel. Not even moving. Fuck. I fucked up. Just make sure the squirrel didn't go back to its uh, bench. I guess not. I guess that was it. I guess I had to walk behind it and then take the photo. Principal Wells. Are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. Nobody can expel me. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? Let me try going backwards and seeing if I can't get that photo of that squirrel. Yeah, I'm that determined. Alright, well, you know what? We're not gonna waste our time. I've wasted enough time. Over with. Can I look at from here in the photo? No. No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll just sit down here and it'll come up. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. I mean, if you're saving a life, I'm pretty sure you won't just feel, you know, nothing. That's not gonna happen.
Forget about it. I'm done with the squirrel. I'm, I don't care about the squirrel anymore. Let's just go. Oh my god. I'm on my way. <laughs> Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. I mean, they can fire you. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. You maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. I mean, how many good dreams are you gonna have? So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? This is how you get past him. Goddamn drunk. Ah, fuck it. I'm no oh, god damn it. <laughs> Sitting my ass down. <laughs> Alright, let's try going a little bit sooner than that. Max the ninja strikes again. Yeah, I'm just like so good at this. All right. Booyah! Oh, fucking bitch! Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Yeah. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Okay, expelled or freaking suspended. We're looking for clues for Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it? Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. 
Insert groan here. Oh, that was cute. Look how they're walking the exact same way. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Ugh. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor wow. to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? You see that hoe? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. In one second. I'm gonna end the video here, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next part of Life is Strange. Brooke, I have never seen you talk to Kate, ever. Like, fuck you. Whatever, wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Is this Kate's room? I don't even know. Ooh. Oh, this is her room. So much hypocrite. I know, this is exactly what I was just complaining about. Everybody always has all this shit to say, but they don't say anything before when you're drowning. Do they really need that crap on the door?